Hello friends, this is Hasiba. Welcome to today's session on problems on scanline polygon fill algorithm. This scanline polygon fill algorithm concept comes in your second module, right? So you are, I have already explained about how this scanline polygon fill algorithm works. So in today's session, we'll be discussing as to how we can solve the problem on scanline polygon fill algorithm. This is very, very important from your exam point of view. So you'll be asked a question like this, explain scan line polygon fill algorithm, right? So kindly refer your notes and in your notes, I have given the complete explanation about scan line polygon fill algorithm. So you have to write the explanation from the explanation of this particular topic. Then the question is determine the content of the active edge table to fill the polygon with vertices A of 2 comma 4, B of 4 comma 6 and C of 4 comma 1 for Y is equal to 1 to Y is equal to 6, right? So this is the question what they have asked. They have told us to fill a polygon with three vertices, right? So A, B and C are the three vertices and we have the scan lines that is the Y values from 1 to 6, right? So step one, initially, first let us draw the figure with respect to these three vertices. So what I'll do is I will plot my X and Y values. So X axis, you can take any number. So what is the maximum X value we have here? Two, four, four, right? So four is the maximum X value. So just write one, two, three, four, five, six. And what is the Y value they have given? Y goes from one to six. So on the Y axis, plot the points from one to six. Now, initially, what is the first point? A is two comma four, right? So X value two, Y value four. So point A, A is two comma four. Then the second point is B, which is four comma six. So come to B, B point is B of four comma six. Okay, then the third point is C, C of four comma one, right? So C of four comma one. So for first we have to plot the initial vertices, whatever they have given, that is A, B, C, right? So join these three vertices, we will get a polygon here, right? So now we have to solve the problem in order to fill this polygon. That is the question, right? So in order to solve the problem on scanline polygon fill algorithm, so we have to follow some steps. So let us see step by step. First step is step one, sort the edges from Y minimum to Y maximum, right? So that means here you have three points, A of two comma four, B of four comma six, C of four comma one, right? So these are the X1, Y1 values, X2, Y2, X3, Y3, right? So we have to sort these Y values. So here Y value is four, here Y value is six, here y value is one, we have to sort the edges from y minimum to y maximum, right? So which is the minimum value out of these three? The minimum value is four comma one, y is one here, right? So I will sort it as c of four comma one, right? So then I have the y value as here two comma four, right? So which is for a, so I will write a of two comma four. Next, I have the y value which is six, so b of four comma six. So when I sort it in ascending order, I will get the y values as one, four and six, right? So that is why I write C of four comma one is my first vertex. Then A of two comma four is the second and B of four comma six. So this is the first step what you have to do, right? So sort the edges from Y minimum to Y maximum. Just write the vertices. So based on their Y values, so sort them from minimum to maximum. I hope it is clear, right? So the formulas which are used in your scanline polygon fill algorithm is, right? So how to calculate the next point on the Y axis, right? So to calculate the next point, if your initial point is YK, so the next point, which is YK plus one is what? It is YK plus one. That means from first line, I'm moving to the second line. How I'm moving to the second line? By adding one to the previous value, right? So one plus one, I will get it as two, right? So that is YK plus one is equal to YK plus one. Next to find the X values, right? So X value is not incrementing, right? So as you can see here, X value is not incrementing one by one, right? So it is not incrementing by one, right? So uh, we have seen the scanline polygon fill algorithm. There we had derived the equation for XK plus one as it is equal to XK plus one by M, right? So M is the slope. What is M we know? M is equal to delta Y by delta X, right? So M is the slope, which is nothing but the delta Y by delta X, but XK plus one is equal to XK plus one divided by M. So when I take one by M, right? So I will get it as a delta X by delta Y. So one by 
m you have to do m value is delta y by delta x right so when you reverse that when you take the inverse of your slope you will get it as delta x divided by delta y right so these two formulas you have to remember in order to solve the problem so first step is you are arranging the edges from y minimum to y maximum second step second step is to create a global edge table so what is this global edge table a global edge table is basically an array of linked list right so it is an array of linked list so we have to create this table so to create this table right so first draw the stack like this right so we have the y values they have given from y goes from 1 to 6 right so write it here y is equal to 1 to y is equal to 6 right so then inside this stack you have to write the vertices where the y values is 1 right or 2 or 3 right so we know that we had three vertices right so c is a vertex which has y value 1 a is a vertex which has y value 4 and b is the vertex which has y value 6 right so when y is equal to 1 i will write the vertex as c right so y is equal to 1 vertex is c next come down y is equal to 4 right so when y is equal to 4 the vertex a, vertex is 2 sorry vertex is a right so when y is equal to 4 the vertices is a right so when y is equal to 6 what is the vertex the vertex is 4 right so when y is equal to 6 the vertex is sorry the vertex is b right so y is equal to 6 the vertex is b so initially write the names of the vertices for their corresponding y values right so then now we have to create this linked list right so to create the linked list what we have to do is first step first step is i have to start from the vertices c right so if i start from the vertex c right so see my figure here in this from c i have two edges what are the two edges i have an edge from c to a and i have an edge from c to b right so that is c a and c b are the two edges which are originating from the vertex c right so let us take the first edge so the first edge is c a right so c a is an edge which is formed by taking the two vertices c and a right so we know that c is 4 comma 1 and a is 2 comma 4 right so this 4 comma 1 let us consider it as x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2 right so an linked list right that is a node a node in this particular linked list is written like this it has three components right so the first component is y max the second component is x value for y minimum right so the x value of y minimum then the third component is 1 by m right so i repeat for in order to write this linked list right so a linked list is what it is a collection of nodes right so every node here is made up of three components the first component is y max the second component is x value right so of what of y minimum right so whichever y value is minimum that particular x component we have to write here right so and the third component is what it is 1 divided by m where m is my slope right so what i will do is first i will see the x or y values right so if i take y1 and y2 which is maximum right so y1 is 1 y2 is 4 so y max in these two uh, vertices is 4 right so the first value i will fill it with 4 right so next component is x value of y minimum right so which is y minimum y minimum is 1 what is the corresponding x value of that particular y minimum the corresponding x value of y minimum is 4 right so that will go into the next field of the node right so the third field is 1 divided by m as we know what is m m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 right so y2 minus y1 so 4 minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is 2 minus 4 right so you have to take i take this x1 y1 and x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 so y2 minus y1 will be 4 minus 1 and x2 minus x1 will be 2 minus 4 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2 so m i will get it as 3 divided by minus 2 right so but what i have to fill here third component in my node it is 1 divided by m right so 1 divided by m will be equal to inverse of this so i will get it as minus 2 by 3 right so we were successfully able to generate the first node which is y max x of y minimum and minus 2 by 3 so 4 4 minus 2 by 3 this is my first node right so what you have to do is go back to the c vertex wherever you have written here in the stack right so put a connection right put an arrow mark and represent it like a linked list so write the node whatever you have got which is 4 4 minus 2 by 3 
So 4, 4 minus 2 by 3. So what is this? This is for the edge CA, right? So then we also know that from C, we have one more edge, which is CB, right? So to form the edge CB, we need two vertices, which is C and B, right? So C is 4, 1 and B is 4, 6. So we follow the frame, same procedure here. What is our node? Our node consists of three components, Y max, X of Y minimum and 1 by M. Right? So check out which is my y max value. If I compare y1 and y2, y max is 6. Right? So I will write it as 6 here. Then x component of y minimum. Right? So out of these two, which is y minimum, y minimum is 1. So what is the corresponding x value of y minimum? It is 4. Right? So write it as 4. Right? So then I have to calculate the slope. Right? So slope m is equal to 1. It is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Right? So y2 is 6. y1 is 1. So 6 minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1, which is 4 minus 4. So 6 minus 1, I will get it as 5. 4 minus 4 is 0. So 5 divided by 0, if I take 1 by m, I will get it as 0 by 5. So 0 is divided by 5 is the answer is 0. Right? So this is 0, I will fill it as the third component. So this is my second node. Right? So and this will go to my linked list. Right? So this is called as the global edge table. Right? So I'm adding the linked list from the corresponding vertices, right? So from C, I have an edge CA. This is the first step. Then I will have one more connection to CB, right? So CB node is what? 640. So the same node I have added here, 640. I will write, right? I will write the name of the edge as CB. Fine, right? So now come to the next vertex. So what is our next vertex? Our next vertex is A, right? So from A, if I see my figure, right? So A is connected to C and A is connected to B. Right? So the edge AC is already traversed because it is an it is a bi-directional edge, right? So they, it is now it is an undirected edge, right? So there is no direction. So AC and CA are both one and the same. So this is already traversed. The CA is already completed, right? So what is the next edge which is remaining from A? It is AB. Right. So what I will do is I have to calculate the I have to add the node for the edge AB, right? So AB is formed by taking two vertices A and B. So A is 2 comma 4, B is 4 comma 6, right? So we know that what is the component of our node? It is Y max, X Y minimum and 1 by M, right? So out of these two, what is Y max? Y max is 6, so write it as 6. What is X component of Y minimum? Y minimum, we know it is 4. So X component of Y minimum is a 2, so write it as a 2. Then I have to fill 1 by M. So calculate M. M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. So Y2 is 6 here. Y1 is 4, so 6 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 2. So 6 minus 4 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, so 2 divided by 2, it is equal to 1, right? So 1 by M will also be 1. So I will get my node as 6, 2, 1. So I have to add this in node, right? So for my vertex A, right? So A will be connecting to one node, which is 6, 2, 1, and the edge is AB, right? So next. What is the next vertex, right? So what we have to do here is, again, we have to check which is the next vertex which is remaining, right? So at y is equal to 1, we had C vertex. So from C, we had two edges, CA and CB, right? At y is equal to 2, we don't have anything. So we will write it as null, right? So whatever simply arrow mark I have written, that means this particular our node is pointing to null. Y is equal to 3, no vertex is there, right? So again, it is pointing to null. Y is equal to 4, we had A. Right, so from A, we had calculated one more edge, which is AB. So we got the node as a 6 to 1, right? So then Y is equal to 5, nobody is there, right? So it is also pointing to none. Y is equal to 6, who is there? B is there, right? So when I come to B, B is connected to A, B is connected to C, right? So B is connected to A with the edge of AB, right? B is connected to C with the edge BC or CB, right? So and these two edges have already been traversed, right? So that's why we need not add the nodes once again, right? So because A, B is connected to A through AB, right? And B is connected to C through BC or CB, right? So this is already finished, right? So we will not, we will not continue, right? Uh, to calculate for B, right? So we'll just say B is null. So now moving on further, right? So this is the procedure, how you will calculate your global edge table, right? So first you have to calculate the global edge table, then you can, cal then it will be easy for us to calculate the active edge table, right? So coming to the third step, step three, right? So we have to create an active edge table, right? So what is an active edge table? 
an active edge table is a table which begins with a null node and it ends with a null node right so it begins it starts with null and it ends with null that means what we have to do here is for every value of y right so because we know that y moves here from y is equal to 1 to 6 right so for every value of y here we have to find the intersection pairs right so because you have seen in our scanline polygon fill algorithm we will be finding the intersection pair right so once we get the intersection pair we have to draw a line and we have to color that particular pair right so let us see here so what we do first is y is equal to 1 right so that is our first iteration is from i equal to 1 right so i will take i is equal to 1 so initially the node is a null node right so at i equal to 1 what i have at i is equal to 1 i have two nodes right so the two nodes are 4 4 minus 2 by 3 and 6 4 0 right so i will add that to my list right so it initially begins with a null node right so i have at i is equal to 1 4 4 minus 2 by 3 which is again connected to one more node which is 6 4 0 right so this you are trying to get it from your global edge table right so the same thing whatever you have written here you are just writing it once again right so now since we have only two nodes right so when we have two nodes it is easy to find the intersection pair right so to find the intersection pair it is x comma y x comma y value right so we know that the intersection pair will be this i is equal to one is our y value right so for y is equal to one we are doing this right so this is my y value so what is my x value right so as you can see here in the node right so the first component is y value the second component is x value right so whatever i have written here second component this is actually my x value right so in order to write the intersection what we do is we take the x value right so this value x1 as x1 and this will be your y1 right so this is the first intersection point which is 4 comma 1 right so for the first node for the second node the intersection point will be x value which is a 4 right and the corresponding y value which is 1 right so we will get the intersection pair as 4 comma 1 and 4 comma 1 so this is my first pair where i have to draw a line and color so how i will draw the line and color we'll see as we move further right so coming to the second iteration right so for the second point that is for y is equal to 2 right so for y is equal to 2 we know that it is null right so we don't have any nodes right so whenever we don't have any nodes what we have to do is we have to take the nodes which are there in the previous y value the same nodes which are there in the previous y value we have to consider them right so since for y is equal to 2 it is null y is equal to 2 it is null we don't have any nodes what we do we take the same nodes which are there in the previous y value right so for i is equal to 2 what i will do i will have the as it is active edge table it begins with null node so write null so what are the previous two nodes we got it we had 4 4 minus 2 by 3 and 6 4 0 so write it as it is right so when you are taking the previous thing what you have to do now is for the next step is you have to increment with the slope right so as we have seen in the formula that y value is obtained by incrementing it by 1 right so this is the formula for scanline polygon fill algorithm yk plus 1 that is the next y value is what it is yk plus 1 for initial y value plus 1 right whereas xk plus 1 is what xk plus 1 is equal to it is xk plus delta x divided by delta y xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus delta x by delta y right so we have to find the next x value right so next va x value how we are incrementing we are incrementing with the slope right so that is inverse of the slope we know that right so what we are doing here is we are we will be incrementing it with the slope right so we know that this is our x value so consider the first node right so in this first node we have x value as 4 right so i will increment it with the slope what is this the slope value slope value we have written it as 1 by m which is minus 2 by 3 right so i will write it as the formula was xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus 1 by m right so this is the value of 1 by m and this is xk right so 4 minus 2 by 3 we have here so 4 minus 2 by 3 i will take the lcm 3 4 is a 12 12 minus a 2 by 3 so 12 minus 2 is a 10 10 by 3 so this is my next x value that is xk plus 1 right so i again the same thing you have to do for the second node also right so for the second node we know that what is the x value x current x value is 4 what is your slope slope is 0 so if i add 4 plus 0 what i will get i will get the next x value as 4 only right so i will write the next node right so next 
uh, list i will get it as first value is y max value i will write it as 4 only what is our x value our x value from 4 it has now changed to xk plus 1 xk plus 1 which is nothing but xk plus 1 by m right so that is why so it is 10 by 3 what we have got so write it as 10 by 3 this is your m value 1 by m value write it as it is minus 2 by 3 next coming to the second node right so first is y max write the y max as it is for this xk plus 1 what did we do we add it to the slope so since here we have 0 we will get it as 4 plus 0 as 4 only i have not written it here because it is easily understandable 4 plus 0 we will get it as 4 right so the same 4 value i have written here right so then what is the slope value you will write the 1 by m value which is 0 right so now what is the pair right so to write the pair we have to take the x component and the y value right so what is a 10 by 3 10 by 3 is nothing but you will get it as 3.3 right so your first pair will be 3.3 comma 2 right same procedure just to take the x value and the corresponding iteration value which is nothing but your y value right so the x value is 10 by 3 which is 3.3 3.3 comma 2 right so what is the second second uh, component right so second value will be x value and y value right so x value is 4 and y value is 2 so 4 comma 2 so i will get the two points as 3.3 comma 2 and 4 comma 2 right so this is my second pair draw a line and color right so moving to the third iteration for i is equal to 3 right so when i come back again i will see that for i is equal to 3 it is pointing to null that means i don't have any nodes right so when i don't have any nodes i have to take the previous node values right so i will consider the previous node which is my null 4 10 by 3 minus 2 by 3 right and 6 4 0 the same previous node value i am considering it here i will write this right so now how to calculate the x value i have to increment with the slope right so what i will do this is my x value 10 by 3 i will add it to the slope so 10 by 3 minus 2 by 3 i will get it as 8 by 3 right so for the first node i will get it as 4 8 by 3 minus 2 by 3. same procedure whatever we have done here we are doing it right so for the second node again what is x value i have to increment with the slope right so 4 plus 0 4 plus 0 is 4 4 plus 0 is 4 right so i will write it as i'll get it as 4 only so i will get 6 4 0 right so how to write the intersection pair intersection pair is 8 by 3 right so if you take 8 by 3 8 by 3 is 2.6 right so take this 2.6 comma what is your y value that is your i value whatever you have here so 2.6 comma 3 is your first point what is the second point it is your x value which is a 4 comma 3 right so 2.6 comma 3 and 4 comma 3 this is my third pair right so again i have to draw the line and color it right so now come to the next scan next y value right so what is the next y value next y value is y is equal to 4 right so at y is equal to 4 we are seeing that now we have one more node which is adding to my previous list right so what was the list from i is equal to 3 from i is equal to 3 i had got the list as 4 8 by 3 minus 2 by 3 is my one node and 6 4 0 this is the output of your i is equal to 3 right so that is when the y value is 3 right so now at i is equal to 4 that is when y becomes 4 we have to add one more node so what is that one more node we are adding here we are adding one more node for i is equal to 4 that is for, for y value 4 we have one more node which is 6 to 1 right so what we are doing here is we are adding one more node which is 6 to 1 here right so i will take this is initially null node right so i am adding one more node which is 6 to 1 right so the previous nodes were 4 8 by 3 minus 2 by 3 and 6 4 come 6 4 0 right so now we can see here we have three nodes right so whenever we have three nodes it is very difficult to make the intersection pairs right so we cannot make a pair right so what we have to do is here we have to delete the node whose first value and i value is same right i repeat whenever we have three nodes right whenever we have three points it is very difficult to make the intersection pair right so because we have seen that here and all we have made intersection pair with only two nodes with the two nodes it is very easy take the x value corresponding i value take the x value corresponding i value we were making the intersection pair right but here i want one pair pair means i need only two points but here i have three nodes so whenever i have three nodes we cannot make the pair intersection pair right so what we will do is we have to delete the node whose first value first value is nothing but your y max value whose first value and i value is same right so we know that here what is the i value i value is 4 whose first value is same as i value right so we can see here here first value we have 6 
so i will not be deleting this node right so here first value is what it is 4 right so i will be deleting this particular node right so you have to delete the node whose first value is same as the i value i repeat whose first value is same as the i value so i have to delete this node right so when i delete this node i will be left out with 621 and 640 in my linked list right so once i have this it is very easy to write the intersection pair now right so what is the intersection pair so intersection pair will be x value with the y value right so which is 2 comma 4 is my first intersection pair second intersection pair is 4 comma 4 right so 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 this is the fourth pair of intersection point right so now to move to calculate the next intersection pair right so to calculate the next intersection pair we have to go for y is equal to 5 here right so we know that at i is equal to 5 what i have i don't have any uh, linked list right so any node that means it is pointing to null so what i will do i will take the previous values then i have to increment the x value with the slope right so same procedure you have to take the previous value and you have to increment with the slope right so what i'm doing here is i will take the previous value so what is my previous value my previous value is right so we were here so we have we were we had deleted the same node right so which had which has the same value of the i value right so we got this and we had formed the fourth pair right for i is equal to 5 that is y is equal to 5 we know that it is not pointing to anything it is pointing to null so i will take the same node and i will increment with the slope so what is the slope here the slope is 1 right so increment your x value so 2 plus 1 you will get it as 3 so the new node will be 6 3 1 right so again what is your x value here 4 what is the slope 0 increment with the slope 4 plus 0 is 4 you will get it as 6 4 0 right so here you have to increment with the slope i have not written here right so because it is understood so whenever you are taking with the previous value what you have to do you have to increment with the slope every time you have to increment with the slope right so i am incrementing here with the slope increment with the slope so what i will get here right increment with the slope i will get it as 2 plus 1 is 3 so my new nodes are 6 3 1 and 6 4 0 right so now i will form the pair the pairs are x value with the i value so 3 comma 5 and next pair is 4 comma 5 so this is my fifth pair right so now moving to the last value of i which is i is equal to 6 at i is equal to 6 again we saw that from the global edge table it is not pointing to anything right so there is no node to be added to the list right for i is equal to 6 that is the y value as 6 there is nothing right so what i will do i will take the previous list only so i'll be taking the previous list which is 631 right and 640 this is the output of my fifth iteration which is 631 and 640 again increment it with the slope what i will get i will get it as 3 plus 1 is 4 so 641 and 4 plus 0 is 4 so 640 so 641 and 640 is my current nodes right so my pair will be 4 comma 6 is one pair and one more pair is 4 comma 6 right so this is the sixth pair right so 4 comma 6 is our last point as we have seen here in our diagram when you are getting both the points as the same at that point you have to stop right that means when y is equal to 6 so 4 comma 6 is your last point right so we have got that particular point so if you get that point that means you have solved it correctly right so 4 comma 6 4 comma 6 this is my sixth pair right so we'll just list down all the pairs whatever we have got first pair we got it as 4 comma 1 4 comma 1 second pair 3.3 comma 2 and 4 comma 2 third pair is 2.6 comma 3 4 comma 3 fourth pair 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 fifth pair 3 comma 5 4 comma 5 sixth pair is 4 comma 6 4 comma 6 right so like this whatever pairs i had got here right so while solving the problem i had written here her first pair second pair third pair fourth pair fifth pair right so the same pairs see here first pair 4 comma 1 4 comma 1 what is the second pair 3.3 comma 2 4 comma 2 third pair is 2.6 comma 3 and 4 comma 3 fourth pair is 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 fifth pair is 3 comma 5 4 comma 5 sixth pair is 4 comma 6 and 4 comma 6 right so all the pairs just list down all the pairs right so then the finally you have to fill your polygon right so to fill the polygon what we do again same x value and y value so we know that y value goes from 1 to 
six, right? So here the lines, when you see in your computer screen, right? So they will be very small, right? So the distance between one and two here, just for to make you understand, right? So I have written it at a distance, but actually these lines, there's a scan lines, right? So they will be very close to each other. Y is equal to one is here means y is equal to two, y is equal to three like that, right? So this entire polygon will actually be filled like that. Right. So here, how we, what we will do is first we will draw our original polygon first, right? So with the point C of four comma one, A of two comma four, A is the first. This is the first point, A of two comma four. Second point was B of four comma six. Third point is C of four comma one, right? So first, you draw this outline diagram. That is your polygon diagram, right? So your y values you had one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So six scan, scan lines. Then what is your first pair? The first pair is four comma one, four comma one. That means four comma one. You have to draw a line and color it that means you will be coloring this particular pixel value right so what is the second pair second pair is 3.3 comma 2 and 4 comma 2 right so the second pair is you can see here 3.3 if this is 3 to 4 3.3 is this particular point it starts from here 3.3 right so 3.3 comma 2 you will start coloring your or filling your polygon from here 3.3 comma 2 coloring the pixels till 4 comma 2 right so this is the second line what you are coloring 3.3 .3, as you can see 3.3 .3, comma 2 right so what is the third pair third pair is 2.6 comma 3 and 4 comma 3 right so third pair is 2.6 so 2.6 you are starting from here right so this is 2 2.6 so 2.6 comma 3 that means this is the point right so 2.6 comma 3 and 4 comma 3 so you have to fill the pixels which are in this particular intersection pair that is the line 2.6 comma 3 right so next fourth pair is what 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 right so 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 to 4 comma 4 right so 4 comma 4 is here right so draw all the pixels and color them right so next we have the fifth pair the fifth pair is 3 comma 5 4 comma 5 right so 3 comma 5 this is the point and 4 comma 5 this is the point right so you will be coloring all the pixels which are between 3 comma 5 and 4 comma 5 what is the last pair the last pair is 4 comma 6 comma 4 comma 6 so 4 comma 6 this is the one which you are coloring right so this entire polygon will be filled with the uh, filled with the color right so this is how you solve the problem on scan line polygon fill algorithm right so don't think that there is a gap here right so just to show you that these are the scan lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so i have drawn them a little bit with the distance so that it will be easy right but if you take your system right so it since it is a closed polygon the scan lines will be very small but they will be very small like this a tiny tiny scan lines and when you are filling the polygon right so the entire polygon will be filled like this how i have shown here right so the same way your entire polygon whatever you are drawing this entire polygon will be filled with the color right so like this you have to solve the problem on scan line polygon fill algorithm please go through the problem right so and try to solve it once step by step right so you will understand this is very very important repeatedly asked examination problem for 10 marks right if you have any doubts you can call me or you can message me and you can ask this this is very important with respect to your internals right and also your examination point of view solving the scan line polygon fill algorithm so in your second module you have problems on scan line polygon fill algorithm and also on 2d transformation which is 2d rotation translation scaling and your pivot point rotation all that right so that part we all we have we had already covered in your first module i'm sorry first internals right so for your second internals you will be having one question on your scan line polygon fill algorithm and how to solve the problem for scan line polygon fill algorithm thank you